a film in three minutes, Joint Security Area. There are countless war films that delve into the darker side of human nature, whether they be spectacular reenactments of historical events, or stories that use the facade of warfare to emphasise a different message. But what do you do film-wise with a conflict that has lasted for decades between two neighbouring countries that haven't engaged in combat since the 1950s, whilst those two countries still technically remain at war? Legendary director Park Chan-wook's 2000 film Joint Security Area is one such cinematic answer. JSA's plot revolves around Swiss Army Major Sophie Jeanne, who is deployed to the DMZ by the Neutral Nations Supervisory Commission on the Korean Peninsula. Her objective is to investigate an incident at the border that led to the deaths of two North Korean soldiers at the hands of two soldiers from the South, causing a diplomatic fiasco. Her investigation quickly becomes bogged down by the internal politics of the two nations, both claiming innocence over the affair. But thanks to inconsistencies from reports on both sides of the border, Major Jean is gradually able to discover a much more complicated truth. Most of the film's structure relies heavily on the use of flashbacks, filling in the gaps that we as the audience have during the first act. We come to know Sergeant Lee Su Hyok from the South and his communist counterpart Sergeant Oh, as the two begin a friendship despite their opposite affiliations. The pair bond and quickly begin to appreciate each other's company, introducing them to fellow soldiers from either side. The difference in political ideologies are soon disregarded, and the two pairs grow to learn from each other whilst keeping their new friendship a secret from their superiors. The use of setting is palpable in JSA, highlighting effectively the stark difference each nation has. The several scenes set at the actual joint security area provide some of the film's lightest and darkest moments, but the political divide between the two countries couldn't be more apparent. Both of the two main soldiers eventually become more conflicted about their separate allegiances, but the central themes of human kindness and compassion are allowed to blossom and surpass the politics that encompass both careers today. Major Jean's investigation eventually leads her to discovering the real truth that led to the murder of the two communist soldiers, but in so discovering, she too becomes conflicted about what good her investigation would bring. This conflict is apparent in much of the director's work, with Chan Wook quoted as saying, All of the characters in my films, they share one commonality. It doesn't matter whether they are good or bad, it doesn't matter whether they are smart or stupid. These characters all take responsibility for their own behaviour. I'm much the same. The consequences each character faces in the film demonstrates the insanity of the political divide facing both careers. The tortured history of the two nations is one where ideology demands human beings forget that their fellow neighbours are human also, prolonging the much needed reconciliation and eventual final peace the peoples of both countries deserve. JSA as a film is almost 20 years old, but the starkest reminder of the dangerous precipice that both careers face is how in such times so little has changed for so long.